Are you looking for an easy way to add click to call to your website? Well, keep watching. In this video, I'll show you three different methods you can use to add click to call to your website. This is a great feature for small businesses and contractors who rely on phone calls to make your business grow. And this works really well for people who visit your website on their smartphone. And this just gives them a quick and easy way to call you without having to remember or fumble with your phone number. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first method we're going to use is the easiest and it's by adding a plugin to your WordPress dashboard. So let's go to your WordPress dashboard. Let's scroll down to the plugins area. Go ahead and click add new. And over in the search area, we want to type in WP call button. This is the one we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and click install now. And then once it's installed, you'll also want to make sure that you click activate. Great, now that's activated, we can either click here to configure it, or if you ever have to go and come back, you can go to settings, WP call button to configure it. And now we need to configure. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and make it active. Once you do that, you'll also want to fill out the phone number to your business, and then you'll want to pick the country from the dropdown, and then WP call button will use the smartphone feature that will add that when somebody clicks on it. And real quickly, we just wanna give a shout out to Nextiva who partnered with WP Beginner to create this free plugin for you. If your business is looking for professional business phone service that includes features like advanced call routing, voicemail to email or text, online faxing, text messages, and more, then definitely check them out. Simply go to wpbeginner.com forward slash refer forward slash Nextiva, or just click the link in the description below to get a special deal with Nextiva. Next, you can choose how you want the button to look. You can just say, call us, or you can do something like call for a free quote or anything like that. And just know that it'll be full width on the smartphone. So if you're using the full width, that's what will come up. Otherwise, if we choose one of these other items, then it'll use a, an icon for that. And for this one, we're going to show you what it looks like with just the icon in the bottom right. And then you can also change the color. You want this to complement or maybe stand out from your normal. So you want it to be complimentary, but you also want it to showcase. You don't want it to blend in the background where people will forget it or not see it. And then from here, you can show where all you want them to see the button. By default, it'll show everywhere. So on every page, every post, it'll show. So we can click Save Changes. And one last feature is it automatically shows on mobile devices only by default, but you can show it universally by toggling this off. Desktop features don't really have easy ways to do click to call, so it's recommended to just keep it with mobile only. And then you can click Save Changes, and now that's good to go. If you want to mimic a phone for your website to see what it will look like, you can do Control or Command Shift I and that will bring up the inspect element or you can right click on your device and say inspect element and this will pull up. And then you see over in the corner, you can click on the little mobile device icon and it'll show you what it will look like on a phone. So I'm mimicking a mobile phone and you see the button down there. And actually, if you notice, I'm using the green default, but since my website is mostly green, it's kind of blending in. And so that's why you really wanna play with the colors to make sure that it complements it and has it a better chance for it to stand out a little bit better. And then let me just show you what that would look like if it's the full width at the bottom. So I'm gonna go back, do full width, and, and we're gonna change this up a little bit, make it more complimentary for my particular site. We'll do that, click Save Changes, and now we'll take a look at it. Nice, so that pops a little bit more, and this is just a preview of what it will look like. Now, if you don't want it down at the bottom, then you can also do a static call button piece where you, it's a static call button and then you, you can put it on anywhere like your contact us page or any other page. You can also put it in a widget area. So I'm um, over back on the WP call button, go to the static call. And again, you can choose what you want the button text to look like, choose the button color, and then you can and you can either choose to show or hide the little phone icon with the button. And then with this static call button, we can put this on a post or a page. We could also put it in a widget area. If you are you still using the classic editor, then you can copy this short code to use that. If you're using the Gutenberg, then there is a block that you can use. 
So let's go over to, I'm going to scroll up and put this on our contact page. So I'm going to go to pages, all pages, and finding my contact page, I'm going to click on edit and decide where I want this to go and get on a new line and I can do the block area and I'm going to search for WP call. WP call buttons right there. And now you see it coming in. So that looks really good. And then you can see over here, you can change the color scheme however you want, or even do the custom color, color that we had as well. And then finally, if you want it in say a header widget area or a footer or sidebar widget area, then we can do that quickly. We'll add a widget. So to do that, we want to go to appearance widgets and choose the widget area that we want it to go to. I'm going to choose my main sidebar area. First, I need to scroll down and find the WP call button widget. So this is the one I want. So I'm going to left click and drag this up. And what I want to do is show advanced settings. So you can see this is all the information and we're happy with that. And because we haven't made any changes, it's already saved. So now when I go to my website and click refresh, you see it's right here. So you can make a little bit of adjustments to make it look best for your website, but that's how you can do that. So that's a great way to add a click to call on your website easily. The next method I'll show you is the manual method. So I'm going to remove this click to call here. And if you prefer to do a manual process, then we can do that. For this one, we're going to find custom HTML and we want to left click and drag this up here. And we'll put that here. And what I'm doing is adding this bit of code. You can copy the code from our article version of this tutorial. And you can check that out in the description below and copy this information. And then what you want to do is just add in your actual number and then you'll have this here. So once I click save, I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll show you how you can make it a little bit fancier if you want. So here there's two different ways you can do this. One is just the phone number. One is just saying, call me. And I'm going to add a little bit of a break here to make that look good. And then when we go back and look at it, then you see it's an on new line. So it's just two different ways that you can do that. You're basically just setting up a simple hyperlink for your website. And then if you wanted to add a little icon there, we can do that as well. I'm going to go back to our dashboard, go to media, add new, and you should already have a, an icon that you want to upload. I'll be using this one. So once I upload it, we want to click on the edit because I need to get the file URL. I'm going to grab that and copy. Then we need to head back over to appearance widgets so we can fix that. So under the custom HTML, instead of just having the hyperlink here, we also want to add an image. I'm not going to have text. Instead, I'll add some bit of code. Again, this is in our code on our article tutorial as well. We'll add our alt attribute as well. So once we have all that, we can click save. And then that should bring in an icon for us. So go back over here and we'll click refresh. And you have an icon instead of the text version. And then let's do one final way to do this. You, if you want them to, if you want to add a call up in the menu, we can do that as well. So let's go back to our dashboard and from appearance, we want to go to appearance menus and we'll create a new menu item. So you shouldn't have all of these. This is just because of the plugins that I have in installed. You're looking for custom links because we're creating a custom link for this. And instead of using HTTP, we are using TEL colon. And then you want to enter the number that you want them to call. With this one, you have to remember your company, your country code. So make sure you put that in there. Make sure you have the link text and that whole menu item, that whole link text will show up in the menu item. So make sure it looks good. And let's click save menu, go back to the blog and refresh it. And now you can see call us today. So there, that is it. And that will work for mobile. So there's three easy ways to add 
click the call button to your WordPress website. And thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.